Welcome to the last video of this lecture and I want to show you quite quickly how to compare to population means using T-Student test in Gretel. So I have some sample data from Gretel about uh, women on the labor market and among other variables I have WE which is wife educational at attainment in years and HE, which stands for Husband's Educational Attainment in Years. Um, you know, based on available data and theory and existing evidence, I am concerned and uh, I suspect that wives' educational attainment should be shorter compared to their husbands. So, in this case, uh, it would make more sense to conduct uh, paired samples test. So, we would analyze people from the same households, and of course, there would be some significant variability, but you, mean, you see people from the same household tend to have very similar cultural background, they have the same level of income, and so on. So it would make much more sense for me. So paired samples uh, test would be perfectly justified in this case. However, Gretel does not provide such an option. Uh, I mean, without uh, additional programming and specification. That's why we are going to go for independent samples. So you have to check tools. Uh, um, yeah, test statistic calculator. We compare two means. I want to use data from the data set. So, wife's educational attainment and husband's educational attainment. So, keep in mind, when it comes to the sequence, um, it's going to be important. You will show why. So, first of all, we mention wife educational attainment, then husband's educational attainment. And, yeah. So let's forget about the result for a second and we concentrate on the distribution and uh, the test statistic. So the distribution, orange bar text te test statistic, and as you can see, it's negative. And this is because we used educational attainment of wives as the reference value. Educational attainment of husbands was subtracted from it. In other words, Whatever p-value we obtain for one-tailed test will be p-value for left-tailed test. Now let us discuss the results. So here we are. As you can see here, for two-tailed test, p-value is higher than 0.1. So we cannot reject the null hypothesis even at the 10% level of significance. But for one-tailed, it's below 0.1. So we can reject the null hypothesis in favor for the alternative hypothesis, stating that wives have shorter educational attainment. Let us change the way we formulate the test. So here I use HE, here, uh, give me a second, WE. So we just reverse and okay again let us start with the distribution and as you can see now our test statistic is on the right hand side of the distribution which means that we use husbands as the reference group and whatever statistics for one tailed test we obtain will be statistics for right uh, tailed test of course, the test statistic itself will not be different, so p-value is still identical. But again, when you have any doubts what conclusion you can actually make, you know, whether husbands have longer educational attainment or wives have longer educational attainment, you look at the distribution. Okay, so that was it, I believe. Thank you a lot and see you in the next lecture.